Well, Valentine's Day actually dates back to the year 496, believe it or not. The Pope declared the first official holiday in honour of a martyred priest named St. Valentine. And celebrations started in Great Britain around the 17th century. Americans began exchanging handmade Valentine notes in the early 1700s. The holiday is widely celebrated in Australia, Canada, France and Mexico. And it's catching on in countries in the Middle East and Asia. It used to be all about the ring. But these days, it's all about what you do before you put it on. With celebrities such as Holly Valance and Pink tweeting their proposal photos, there's a tendency to follow. Something without warning. It usually starts with a song. But where the wedding day traditionally belongs to the bride, the trend is now for the man to make the proposal his own. And there's a lot of pressure. Any newly engaged woman who's going into the office on a Monday morning knows now the very first question she's going to be asked is, how did he do it? Men, when it comes to their proposals, want to be memorable. Um, they also love a challenge. So I think all those things sort of combine to sort of, you know, a, a quite a high pressure moment now where they feel that they really do have to do something above and beyond the kind of the obvious. <laughs> The 1957 from Houston, with a flash mob choir, definitely not obvious. Adam King's proposal to his now wife Lucy has been watched over two million times. I am already a member of the choir that performed in the video, so uh, it was a natural decision to ask them to help. I knew they'd be up for it, and they were. And of course, once I'd asked them, the ball was rolling then, there was no way of getting out of it. So many people were there to sing, you know, to sing along to when I said yes. It was just, it was such a lovely moment. Not only do I have a record of that moment, uh, but we've been able to share it with two million people <laughs> who seem to find it lovely too. But if you're lacking in a bit of vision, well, there are now proposal professionals on hand. Women have wedding planners. They always had wedding planners. And this is a really important day for the guy as well, so why can't he have a proposal planner? We send them a consultation form that they fill in that's got loads of um, questions about their relationship, how they met, when they fell in love, their favourite memories. And from that, we pick out, you know, all the really romantic things and then turn that into a proposal. For the traditionalists, popping the question on somewhere like the London Eye is still as popular as ever. But if you want to go bigger, even more extravagant, then bear in mind you're setting the bar even higher for the wedding day.